In the Swiss countryside, the arrival of March marks a reawakening of nature. The melodious songs of birds fill the air, fields transform into lush greenery, and the much-awaited sunlight is relished after a long, cold winter. This is our first spring in our new home, having moved away from the busy city life, and every day we are enamored with our simpler, nature-oriented lifestyle. Witnessing the shifting seasons and the natural world's stunning transformations has been a wonderful experience. We opted for a life of minimalism and higher connection with nature, forsaking the overstimulating urban lifestyle where every desire is instantly gratified. Spring in Switzerland is notoriously unpredictable, frequently presenting itself as a whimsical enigma. One day you can bask in the sun's warmth, attired in shorts, and the next day the skies open up and snow flurries abound. It is a challenge that demands acceptance and agility, as one must be prepared to adapt to the ever-changing weather conditions. Fortunately, the month of March provides ample opportunity to prepare for the upcoming weeks, ensuring that regardless of the weather, one can remain organized and mobile. So, gather your belongings, brace yourself for the elements, and relish the unpredictable but beautiful spring season in Switzerland. So something that I really wanted to do um, ever since moving here was growing my own food. Well, at least some part of it, of course. It is not realistic to um, provide all the food for myself and my fiancé all uh, from our garden, uh, at least not uh, now already. But because of that, this is something that I built together with a good friend of mine. It's a it's a raised garden bed, and you can you can just you know plant your your uh, vegetables, your salads, etc. in there, um, like this because of its because it's raised. Um, it's better for your posture. You don't have to be on the ground all the time, 
and uh, it was quite a long uh, process of building it because we built everything from scratch uh, we did not buy a uh, already built set or everything pre-cut um, we did everything ourselves and so we spent a whole afternoon building this uh, raised garden bed um, but I'm really forward, looking forward to uh, planting the first the first um, vegetables in there I think it should be almost ready the it's getting a little bit cold in the in the night still we are still about zero degrees minus one in the nights but after this week we should have steady temperatures of like one to two degrees so we can start planting our first vegetables here and see how they turn out as you can see I left some space here uh, here I'm going to put a um, it's like a little greenhouse I guess you can call that um, so I wanted to have a raised garden bed here and then have here more space for a little greenhouse to grow some tomatoes uh, zucchinis and cucumbers stuff like that and just in case that I'm really satisfied with the raised bed I have some extra space to build a second one uh, the following year so that's the plan I pretty much have everything ready I'm still waiting for the the greenhouse to arrive so I can build that but um, yeah that would be pretty fun and uh, looking forward to it So as it is almost time to put stuff in the garden already, I am going to like pre-plant um, certain types of vegetables and salads as an example. Um, I'm using like a little tab which is made out of like the outside um, material of a coconut. Um, and then, as you, as you saw, it was very compressed, very dry. Then you put uh, water over it and let it soak and it becomes much uh, bigger. And what you do then is you can take different kinds of seeds that you want to put in and you can put, it in, put them in at different levels depending on the type of plant that you want to put inside. As an example, um, I put inside some salad and this particular salad uh, wants to be very close to the light which comes from above so it can uh, grow easier and other plants can grow, uh, can, the, the seeds can be put a little bit deeper into those, I'd call them pots. And after a couple of weeks, um, the plants are big enough uh, so they can be put um, outside in the raised garden bed or in other um, beds here that we have. So today I'm going to pre-raise or um, prepare some uh, tomatoes, some broccoli, some aubergine or eggplant. This is a special um, Japanese kind apparently and a fruit that I've never seen before. Uh, in German it's called Melonenbirne, uh, pepino, maybe it's, it's an Italian uh, fruit. I have never seen this before in a store or in a, it is quite new to me, um, but that's why I wanted to try it uh, to, yeah, to explore. I think that is the beauty of having, um, of, of growing your own food. 
or trying to grow your own food is you can take um, varieties of vegetables that you usually don't see in the supermarket um, or even uh, stuff that you have never seen in general. So like uh, I've deliberately chosen varieties that are a little bit uh, unusual like this is the tomato that I chose. Uh, it's called Blue Green Zebra. Uh, it is like uh, striped uh, gr uh, green and blue, like like zebra. <laughs> Therefore, the name, I, I suppose. Um, yeah, usually, you get like uh, green, and maybe uh, if, if they have like a special lot or something, you get some orange and yellow tomatoes. But this kind I've never seen before. Um, so yeah, I want to try it out a bit and uh, experiment a little bit and make it a little bit fun. So I'm going to, uh, I have a tray full of those uh, pods already hydrated and I'm going to put some uh, seeds in there right now. So we currently have the month of March here and I'm going for a walk and as you can see there are, there are um, there's plenty of fields uh, surrounding me at the moment and uh, March is a very busy month for, um, for the countryside in Switzerland. Um, it's the, pretty much the first month that uh, the farmers get back on their fields, they prepare their fields, um, they plant the first uh, uh, vegetables to to grow. Usually, um, you you <laughs> and uh, you know that it's the beginning of of uh, spring when you live in the countryside when uh, the farmers. Um, I don't know the, the English word, unfortunately, but in German uh, it's called um, Düngen <laughs> uh, and it means that the farmers, um, they put like um, a cow dung, cow poop, <laughs> uh, back on the fields, so they, um, well, they are provided with with uh, proper nutrients and that they are uh, fertilized. Uh, it's a natural way of fertilizing the fields. And you know, uh, you know that it's spring when you live in the countryside when um, uh, you are very cautious to open your window <laughs> to to um, put uh, get some fresh air into the house, or uh, or you don't leave your clothes drying outside so uh, that's something that is very noticeable when you live in the Swiss countryside I'm not sure if, if uh, they do that in um, other countries as well but in Switzerland this is uh, the way they do it um, they pretty much I think they collect pretty the, the farmers pretty much collect uh, during the winter time 
they collect all uh, well the cow dung uh, from the the stables and then they put it onto the fields uh, back again in the beginning of of the spring and that's uh, that's the natural cycle I guess that it's uh, well uh, if the if the cows if the pasture wouldn't be inside the the stables during the winter so it would be like earlier times I guess uh, the nat the grass the fields would get naturally um, uh, fertilized by the cows and in this by this way they kind of replicate this I, I suppose so uh, yeah very active months very active month uh, of March for for the farmers of course uh, the farmers um, are always uh, very uh, very uh, active uh, they are extremely hard-working uh, people that I um, that I appreciate a lot actually uh, I you know I uh, I don't work in farming but I um, by living here and by driving by uh, farms etc you can I, I, I see that farmers life is very hard these are very hard-working people um, they they make sure that uh, people like me regular people um, all over the country are are fed uh, are fed <laughs> are do have the proper uh, food that they need um, and they they contribute a lot to to this to this beautiful place so I'm always very grateful for for people that work work the farms um, yeah so busy busy month here in uh, here in Switzerland in the in the month of March um, and I think we're gonna see the first um, the first vegetables growing in a couple of weeks already So this was my first video uh, showing you the the life uh, in the Swiss in the Swiss countryside. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm aware that not many, uh, probably no one is going to see this, but that's not a problem. Uh, I still had a lot of fun um, creating this video for you. If you are watching, thank you so much, and I'll see you again until next time. Bye bye.